I think you're going to be the next Sir Isaac Newton and discover something very big. When it starts from a young age and there's a love of education and there's a love of learning and a curiosity, that is what makes the difference in the world. So I'm so glad that they came to visit me today. And um, I know I expect to see great things from them. And I'm glad Isaac is wearing a CCMY t-shirt because I hope that he comes to our college <laughs> when he gets old enough, which could be next year, considering how smart this little guy is. Who discovered gravity? Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. And how did he discover it? One day he saw an apple fall on his head. And he also went, oh! And then he discovered it? Yeah! That's what he did! He was like, oh, what happened? What hit me on the head? He must have been brilliant. Ew! An apple falls! If the apple falls, does that so the moon also falls? You're four years old, wow. And what's your favorite subject? Math, you like math. Math is really important. Points that are one comma two in parentheses and five comma ten. Ah. It takes time to develop this kind of consistency with the steps. Yeah. And for a four-year-old. Yeah. Even the patience, right? Consider a scalene triangle that has A equals 30, B equals 50, and find what C is. You are a smart boy. And you have fun doing it too. It looks like you have fun. How about physics? What's your favorite physics problem? It's like a roller coaster. Have you gone on a roller coaster? <laughs> Not yet, but pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, no, you, you got to put them on a roller yeah, coaster yeah, to get yeah. a chance to see what it's like. So let's solve a roller coaster problem, okay? So you have a 100 kilogram car moving from rest on the top of a hill, and the hill is 20 meters high. What's the speed of the car when it reaches the bottom of the hill? <laughs>
two in the periodic table? Yeah. All right, so now you're gonna start with the first 30 elements of the periodic table. Hydrogen. Wow, hydrogen. Okay, then, what is this? Helium. Helium, great. That, this one? Tritium. Mm-hmm. Then this? Barium. Good. This one? Boron. This? This one? Boron. All right, what is this one? Uh, hey, give me five. <laughs> Okay, what is this one? Not frozen. All right. And what is this one? Oxygen. Boy, what is this one? Fluoride. Boy, you're going to go to college. What is this one? Needle. Great. And this one? You know? It's sodium. Sodium. And this one? It's magnesium. Magnesium! Oh my goodness! You know everything! <laughs> and this one? Aluminum! Aluminum, right! And this one? Nickel! And this is a big P. This one here is a big P. And what would that be? You know what a big P is? It's P. Fa. Fa. Phosphorus? And what about this one with the S? It's sulfur. Right, sulfur, that's right. And this one? Chloride. All right, give me five. <laughs> Excellent. And this one? Hydrogen. And this one? Potassium. Terrific. And this one? You got it. This one? It's candium. And this one? Tortilla. <laughs> and right here? Brady. <laughs> and this one? Glory. <laughs> and here? Mangee. And this one? Iron. All right, iron. Right. And this one? <laughs> and this? <coughs> and this? Copper. Timony, Tiraria, Iodine, Salon, Cesium, Barium, Lantinum, Cerium, Praesidenium, Neodenium, Chromatium, Samaria, Europium, Gadolinium, Hermium. So we know that MN is manganese and all of the different symbols is really a pretty amazing thing. Mm -hmm. You did great! <laughs> হ্যাঁ এভাবেই ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার স্টুডিওতে তাকে রসায়নের মৌলিক পদার্থের সংকেতগুলো জিজ্ঞাসা করা হলে তার সবগুলোর নামই সে বলে দিতে পারছিল সুবর্ণ আমাদের স্টুডিওতে এসেছিল নিউইয়র্ক থেকে তার বাবার সাথে Apple. By cutting an apple? Yeah. Uh oh. We don't have the apple. <laughs> you don't have an apple, but you can make a picture like you were cutting an apple. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm going to show the hydrogen atom. And what is the charge of an electron? A negatively charged particle. It's a negatively charged particle. How about... I'm going to show... Sure. Show it. I'm going to... So this is the electron. Okay. And where is the proton? That is the proton. 
And what's the charge of the proton? Um, positively charged particle. And that's the opposite of the negatively charged electron, right? Yeah, that's the opposite mm -hmm. of negatively charged. And what is, who discovered the neutron? Um, I think James Chadwick. James Chadwick, and does that, does the neutron have a charge? No, neutron has no charge. It's a neutral particle. That is cool. Number five is energy level. Who discovered energy level? Mm, Niels Bohr. Niels Bohr. I'm yeah. gonna do the Bohr markers for okay. Tara. Okay, sounds good. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. So, What do those 12 particles consist of? How many neutrons and how many protons? Only six and six. and six, that is really cool. Yeah, because there are 12 particles. We mm -hmm. add six particles and six particles. That will make us all the way to 12. Okay, that's true. That's really, really good. In the electron configuration, what is that telling you? Can you find the electron configuration in oxygen? Yeah. Oxygen and 16. Right? Hmm. We put a semicircle. We put an N inside that semicircle. Another line, we put two us. We put two people in another state. The first state, two hours. So I'm gonna last two hours. Then the second state, two hours. So cross two. And then this better. So Oxygen, 16 and 8, is 1 s, 2, 2 s, 2, 2 p, I, 2 Well, freshman chemistry students couldn't do this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Good for you. What about quantum mechanics? Yes, not the baby the subatomic particles. And who discovered quantum mechanics? Uh, Max Planck, Alfred Einstein, Heidelberg, Schrodinger, many others. Do you know an equation that explains the behavior of naughty electron? Yeah. What is that equation? Can you write it down? Yeah. Uncertainty pressure. Wow. Delta X. Uncertainty principle. Really? Yeah. Wow. What is uncertainty principle? Delta X times delta P. That's another great other way. No, that's fine. Greater than? Greater than equals to H over 4 pi. What is delta X? I don't understand. Delta is X that? is the possession. Oh, really? Yeah. Position of what? Baby, baby electron. Okay. What is delta P? The momentum. Oh, what is momentum? Momentum of who? What is H? H is the Planck constant. To raise magnetic Okay. Is Can you explain that? What is delta P? What is delta X? Delta X is supposed to So delta X goes up, then what does delta P go? I don't know. Delta P goes down! Really? Yeah! Okay. Can you can you explain it? Do you know about? Okay, what? Processing the last you know about momentum. Okay. What happens if we switch the order? I have no idea. If delta x goes down, then delta p goes up. Okay. So that what is... What would be happening? No. Who? But not in baby electron. That takes us to the story number what? Eight. What's your story number eight? Force. Force. Tell me about what is force. Force is force. And push. 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 And can you pull me? Okay. So that's for it. <laughs> you pull me? Yeah. <laughs> you did it right. Can you push me now? No. Push me. <laughs> okay. Now that's push and pull. Forces in the universe? I'm sure. What are they? They are gravity. Okay. And then what else? Electricity. Electricity, right? Yeah. Is there any electricity here? Yeah. Okay. Strong force, okay? Weak force, okay? Did you discover gravity? Sure, Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. And how did he discover it? One day he saw an apple fall on his head. And he also went, oh! And then he discovered it? Yeah! That's what he did? He was like, what happened? What hit me on the head? He must have been brilliant. <laughs> he dropped the apple from how high? Um, one meter. One meter? And tell me, can you find if a 0.1 kilogram apple is 10 meters high? That would hurt your head, wouldn't it, if it fell and hit you on the head? Have you ever had an apple hit you on the head? Yep. You did? That had to hurt. Did that hurt? Ew! An apple fight. If the apple fight does that, so the moon does fall. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it hurt. If an apple falls, when does the moon I if, look at the sky, I saw moon. Did the moon does the moon fall like an apple? Yeah. Does? Yeah. He so is that how he discovered gravity? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty neat. If Isaac Newton dropped a, or you, Isaac, dropped a point one, oh, are you named after Sir Isaac Newton? Yeah. Yeah. If Isaac dropped a point one K, 
kilogram apple from 10 meters high. Can you find the work done by gravity? Yeah. Turner. Turner. Okay. Okay, now solve the problem. I think you're going to be the next Sir Isaac Newton to discover something very big. One kilogram. Because we put the zero as a placeholder. Right. That's right. Height is one meter. Gravity is ten meters per second. Work is a question mark. That's right, because you don't know. It's not a problem. Work is FD. Let's try circle the F. So F is M A. Work is M A D. So work is point one times ten times one. So work is one two. Wow. And who discovered electricity? Problem number ten. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, that his son discovered that with a kite. With the kite, what did they? Do you know what they did with the kite? Do you remember? I uh, think. They flew the kite in a storm and they attached a key, which was metal, right? And it attracted the electricity. Yeah. And they discovered it. Electrical field. You know, when I was a little kid, I was in the house and I was in the middle of a thunderstorm. And the lightning hit the top of a metal flagpole. And it danced down to the bottom of the flagpole. And then the flagpole exploded because the electricity, the electricity has so much force. Is there any electric field here? Um, yes. Yeah, we struck arrows of the proton. Okay. Uh -huh. Who discovered the electric field? Michael. Michael Fish. Michael Fish. What's the equation? F over T. Very good. Yeah. We will get 10? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's where he got the idea of the lemon battery from. Really? Yeah. So an electric circuit You need the current, don't we? Yeah, five heads and raise the stars are fine because five heads can baby electron and raise the stars trying to stop him. Oh. To me, Ohm's law again. Yeah, five heads can the baby electron and raise the stop him. And resistors stop him. Can you, did, have you done a, a lemon battery? Is this what gave you the idea for the lemon battery? Yeah. How do you do a lemon battery? I've never seen a lemon battery. Can you do it for me and show me the lemon battery? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. And these are just lemons from the grocery store, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Daddy buy them. Daddy bought them for you. Wait, Daddy dropped the nail. He did, and we have to be careful about those nails because they're sharp. Be careful, Daddy. Nails are sharp. 
They are. Okay, I'm holding it. Oh. You're gonna make the battery now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wow. This is exciting. This is gonna light up the bed. Another circuit. I'm making another one. Yeah. Be careful, Daddy. <laughs> We don't want any nails sticking people in the foot. Is it in there? Cool. Yeah. Daddy, you need to be careful. That's because he loves you and he doesn't want you to get hurt. Don't get hurt, Daddy. Okay. Okay. So what? Uh, what you want me to do? Tell me. Open alligator clubs mouth. Okay. 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 So you wanna you wanna tell President Lisa what? What do you do next? What do you do next? Light thing up the bulb. Okay. So where this one gonna go? The cat to Anna. Okay. And then. And then. It's amazing. <laughs> And then what uh, What I do now? Put the alligator clip to the and put it back to the copper pan. Okay, all right, I'll do, I do that. And then what I need to do now? Put the alligator clip. We are here? No, we are. One direction, the and one. Okay. All right, now what to do? Connect the kata to the anode, okay. right there. So from here to here? To here, right there. Oh, okay. That's the kata. Okay, all right. What? One more piece of that, sir? What should I do now? Here? No! No! Don't no. bite me! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> what to do now? Your daddy was joking. Oh, sorry. Okay. He was making a joke. Um, so where? Here, on the right side of the copper wire. Okay. What, what do you call this? The anode, the nail. Okay. And then, what is the atomic number for this one? You want to uh, tell President Lisa? Uh-huh. Almost there. Okay. Wow. All right. So I'll put it here. Oh, the bar. Okay. Sure. That's how it works. Oh, okay. So where where you want to put it? Here. Okay. Side. Okay, and then this one? The positive side. You want to give it to President Lisa? I'm living from here. Oh, did it light up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look so cute. 
You are cute. You're very <laughs> handsome and very smart. Is it actually lighting up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's so light in here, it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it sure is. You can see it against, against my... Let's see, if we turn the light off, maybe we'll get a little bit better. You might have to get in close. Yeah. Ah, oh, there you can yeah. see it, right? Don't let the cellulite go over there. Oh, oh. oh. Well, it shows you when you break the yeah. circuit. <laughs> when you break the circuit. <laughs> I'm going to be your mom here. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Yeah. And you did wow. that with lemons, this copper, is and zinc. Good. This is yeah. That. that is a series circuit. So what happens when you have a series circuit? If you disconnect it, what happens? That will not work. That's correct. It won't work. Do you know the other, does he know the other kind of parallel circuits? Yeah. Um, you want to draw the circuit? Right, so you don't, if you lose one, you don't lose the electricity, but that is such a cool, wonderful thing that you did. You are some <laughs> smart guy. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah. What do you want to be? A scientist. I want to be a scientist. I'm a scientist. <laughs> and I love science. And you are really smart. And you look like you have a lot of fun doing it too, right? Do you have a lot of fun? আমরা হতে ম্যাথ ফিজিক্স ও কেমিস্ট্রির পুরো দখল বলা যায় বিশ্ববালক এই সুবর্ণর ব্রেনে। প্রবাসী বাংলাদেশি রাশিদুল বারী ও শাহেদা বারীর কনিষ্ঠ পুত্র সুবর্ণের সাবলীল ইংরেজিতে প্রশ্ন উত্তরের ভঙ্গিটাও ছিল অবাক করার মতো আমেরিকা পাড়ি দিয়ে সুবর্ণের বাবা রাশিদুল বাড়ি নানা ঘাত প্রতিঘাত মোকাবেলা করেছেন বর্তমানে শিক্ষকতা করছেন নিউইয়র্কের বারুক কলেজে বাবা ম্যাথের টিচার হওয়ার সুবাদে প্রাতিষ্ঠানিক গণ্ডিতে প্রবেশের আগেই বিশ্ববালক সুবর্ণ শিখে নিয়েছেন জটিল গাণিতিক সব অনুষঙ্গ 